Oh my fucking god! Time for a new vlog. How are we doing today, guys? I'm doing awesome and sexy. Thank you for asking. All right, today I did not get a haircut, but I actually did get dressed and actually uh, go get some lunch with a few family members I haven't seen in uh, quite some time. So yeah, but for whatever reason, I kind of just totally forgot to uh, stop and get a haircut. <laughs> Okay, last night anyways, um, been doing actually some, uh, fairly interesting shit on, uh, RuneScape. That is fletching my balls off. Uh, quite a few of you guys have messaged me on, uh, this YouTube channel, let alone my other YouTube channels, and also left some nasty dear little comments saying for me to add my Herblore experience on the bung board. Effigies are very, very scarce right now. There are not a lot of them. I go to World 117 and I say, hey, does anyone have a farming effigy? I mean, a herbivore effigy. And nothing. Absolutely fucking goddamn nothing. So, therefore, herbivore is being leveled kind of really slowly. Um, now, I am farming herbs in order to make them into fucking potions, but, you know, you can only farm so much on a single day. You know, I wake up, I farm, go back to sleep. I wake up, take more painkillers, farm, go back to sleep. You know, that's basically my typical life now for the next, like, I'd say two weeks, I believe. Eh, about two weeks. Anyways, alright. So, fucking Herblore is not going up. <laughs> it's really not going to get to 99. Ooh, fuck titties. Might even be around June, which kind of fucking sucks. But, I'm a very patient person, as you guys know, and well, tonight and tomorrow night, I will be fletching my balls off. Alright, as for last night, one movie I actually did watch really wasn't a movie, it's actually a series. My little scribbling handwriting behind me. The Walking Dead. I've actually missed probably about five episodes now and actually getting kind of caught up. Um, so, that's pretty much all I really watched was The Walking Dead. I mean, I... Uh, a lot of people always ask me, do I like The Walking Dead because I love zombie movies? I'll be straight uh, straight up and honest with you guys. The show sucks balls. It really fucking does. <laughs> the reason why it kind of sucks balls is mainly because I'm on season two, uh, episode five. Now, a lot of people have been telling me it gets better, including my own family. Uh, but I'm not really sure if it gets better or not. I still have, like, six more episodes to watch. It better fucking get better. The reason why I don't like it, the first season was good. It really was good. Now, the the, the problem I really have with the show is that it's just, in the first season, you know, the guy finding his family that's, you know, pretty, it's a little ironic and a little bizarre that out of everyone that died in the world, his fucking family would survive. It just, it doesn't really make sense in the real world. Um, mainly because in 28 Days Later, you know, Jim, he wakes up from a coma, and his parents are dead. If I woke up from a fucking coma, and the entire world was infested with zombies, my family would probably be dead, and let alone every other motherfucker on this planet. It's just, it's one of those things that it just, it happens pretty much. But then again, you know, it kind of went with the storyline of him finding his family, surviving on the road. I'm like, okay, that's whatever. But the beginning of the second season, it's just, I mean, a, a lot of retarded shit. Like, they're on the fucking farm right now, and the guy says, oh, no one's carrying around fucking weapons, or rather rifles and shit, or pistols. If someone told me that I couldn't carry around a fucking pistol or a goddamn rifle during his zombie apocalypse, I'd butt-stroke the shit out of that motherfucker. I mean, it just it, it doesn't, doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what the fuck are you expected to kill a zombie with? Your goddamn hands? <laughs> That's how you get infected, damn it. So, anyways, I got more of that shit to watch. But, um... Otherwise, that's, uh, <laughs> that's pretty much about it. All right, but otherwise, today, we're going to be talking about Money Making Guide. Yes, Money Making Guide. A lot of you people have been actually PMing me, asking me to talk about ways of making money. Even though I probably now have over about 100 fucking YouTube videos on YouTube, you know, spread out through my channels about ways to make moolah on RuneScape. 
And um, pretty much we're going to be talking about RuneScape money-making guides in 2007-2008 versus money-making guides 2011-2012. Late 2011, early 2012. Alright, so what is the difference? Well, money-making guides back in 2007, 2008, you know, it, it was pretty self-explanatory. I mean, you would do basic shit on RuneScape. There was really no... It was a no-brainer. You know, if you wanted to make money by doing combat, you would do Slayer, and you would get Abbey Abyssal drops, and you would pretty much, you know, bank Dragon Bones, etc., etc., get lucky on hilt drops, you know, do God Wars, you know, shit like that. I mean, there's a ton of ways to make money. Now, I'm not really sure how many of you guys know my friend uh, Big Blue, 2456. He got a Sarah Diamond hilt drop. And his split was something ridiculous. It was like a couple mil. It was fucking... It was pathetic. Okay? You can't do God Wars for money anymore. Let alone doing Corporal Beast for money. It's just... It's it's not worth it. You know, I mean, all the ways that you would make money back in the old day, some of them still are good, but most of them have just been totally ran dry of money, pretty much. God Wars is absolute shit. Um, you know, next, doing a fucking next killing or whatever, that's pretty much kind of gone because Torva is crashing like a motherfucker. Um, you got Divines that are crashing. Uh, you can still flip Merchant, but I'm not investing any money at all because I'm not getting burned out of millions because Jagex releases a new fucking update and then, you know, everything crashes, kind of like a DFS. KBD, you know, KQ, I mean, fishing sharks, it's, yeah, fishing sharks are still profitable, but it's, it, you know, things that people would do in the olden days are just, it's really not here anymore. I mean, now you have staking. Okay, think about it. Do you really want to risk your money by staking? Probably not. I mean, the majority of people, they don't, they, they don't go out staking for money. They go staking for fun. Some people stake for money. Some people kind of, you know, avoid staking in general. Kind of like a friend of mine. He lost a lot of money in staking, and now he has to, well, he's at Armored Zombies. <laughs> but anyways, you guys get my point. Um, if Jagex really wants to make it, you know, possible for people to have more money-making ways, they have to add new shit to the game. I mean, it, the only way I really see them fixing something. I mean, even, they added fucking next to the game. How fast did Torva totally get destroyed? In like, uh, I'd say about less than a year now, I think Torva has been out. I think next has been out for a little over a year now. So, you figure, God Wars has been out since 2008, 2000, late 2007, and it took this long for God Wars item to be worth absolute shit. And it only took a year for Torva to be worth absolute dog shit. You see what the point I'm trying to get at is that Jagex needs to add new bosses to the game or just new drops in general that pretty much, you know, releases new items so there are new methods of making money. Uh, Dragon Claws, they're at you know, they're worth nothing what they used to be worth. I remember Dragon Claws, my first pair of Dragon Claws I paid like Something like 30 mil for. Now, <laughs> not even fucking close. But I do have hope for the game, I really do. I uh, kind of think that RuneScape will turn around. It's just going to take Jagex to understand that they have to stop updating the fucking game. As soon as they stop updating the game with graphical updates, adding new items, new shit to the game, the game is kind of going to eh, stabilize a little bit. But until that really happens, then the old ways of making money are kind of going to die off. You can still spin flax, but it's like 50k GP an hour. Fletching, I don't even make as much money from fletching anymore. Um, fishing rock tails, it's really, you know, it's a pain in the dick. Even mining gold ore. Mining gold ore, you can make like 350k an hour. Now it's only like
like something like 200k an hour. It kind of sucks. But this is the new Rune Scaper. All right, guys. But uh, like always, <laughs> tonight I will be fletching my balls, and it will be my friends' chat. So make sure you guys stop by because I always love seeing you happy motherfuckers. What is today? Is today fucking Thursday? God damn it. God damn it, today is Thursday. <laughs> I don't know why, but I kind of thought today was a fucking Wednesday. Oh well. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, anyways, right now I'll go to my email address. We got some happy hoo 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 questions for you motherfuckers. Ask numberchahoo.com and actually need to be used because if you do, you will forget which day it is. First, hoo 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 question. Nightmare, hypo hy hypothetically speaking. What do you think would happen if Jaggies reset all prices to what they were before the major updates? Question mark. Also, do you think Jaggies will ever take away any of the updates, like the new armor graphical update, or at least uh, tone them down? Question mark. Our right, username. Johnny G. Uh, one two three two three four. All right. Um. What do I think would happen if Jaggies reset all the prices to what they were? Uh, things would be pretty good on RuneScape. Now that's, you know, I mean, things would just be better on RuneScape. I mean, yeah, they would still crash, but it would take them maybe like six months to crash again. Uh, Jagex will never remove any updates. It, that's, that's the way they are. They're stubborn assholes. They will never remove an update on RuneScape. <laughs> they will never take it away, goddammit. They will only add modifications. If they are going to change something, they will add modifications. They will not take it away. They will add modifications. Like they modified Bounty Hunter. They modified PvP Worlds. They modified the Wild. They modified Staking. They didn't take it away. They modified it. Next, Hoopa Hoopa question. And by the way, I just noticed that my mic was laying on the ground, so that's why some of my audio might be a little... <laughs> Might be a little, uh, soft. <laughs> oh, 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 boy. Oh, not a good time. Ah, R.S. username, uh, Pinky Style. Question. Hi, Nightmare. I was wondering, what do you think your next 99 skill will be and why? Thanks. All right. I really should not have to fucking answer this question, but I will because I'm a nice person. 99 Herblore. After 99 Herblore, most likely 120 Dungeoneering. That's pretty much about it. Why? It's because I feel like getting those skills to 99. I feel like having a fucking Herblore cape in my bank. I feel like having a 120 Dungeoneering plus 50 fucking chaotic weapons in my bank. So that's kind of why. But otherwise, guys, if you enjoyed this vlog, then you can uh, thumbs it up and leave some nasty dirty little comments. Otherwise, new fucking shit up video tomorrow, and bye!